Hello dear NCIX Tech Tip viewers. Today is a special episode. Stay tuned to the very end of the video because I will be making a special announcement. You probably already know what it is, but let's keep the mystery for now, shall we? Smart homes may still seem like a futuristic concept, but it's easier than ever to add smart devices from TP-Link to your humble abode, like the AV1200 Powerline AC Wi-Fi kit to boost Wi-Fi signal in the dead zones of your house, or the Wi-Fi Smart Plug, which lets you remotely turn devices on and off and monitor power consumption with the TP-Link CASA app. The smart Wi-Fi LED bulb can display thousands of colors and even schedule color temperature changes to match your circadian rhythms, and the HD Pan Tilt Wi-Fi camera lets you keep an eye on your home from the app with night vision. See how the McNeil family upgraded to a smart home by clicking the link in the corner or the description. Intel has dropped the review embargo for the rest of its Core i9 processor lineup and the reviews are out mostly for the 18 core 7980XE and the 16 core 7960XE. The overall consensus seems to be that these chips are now the most powerful high core count CPUs on the market outside of getting a Xeon processor. AMD's highest end Threadripper part, the 16 core 1950X, does actually trade blows with the 7960XE in a few applications, which makes the Ryzen part's $999 price look even more attractive next to the 7960's X $1700. However, it looks like with some overclocking, Intel's new Core X chips could prove their worth as famous overclocker Dur8 Hour, Dur Bauer, was able to get all the 7980XE's 18 cores to 6 GHz under liquid nitrogen. But on the whole, this Intel launch seems to be kind of similar story to the last one. They're the most powerful consumer desktop CPUs with a big price premium. In other Intel news, the company has taken the lid off its 8th generation CPU family codenamed Coffee Lake, following a leak of official Intel slides. We've seen a lot of this information before thanks to leaks, but now it's official. Coffee Lake consists of 6 14nm chips, 2 Core i3s, 2 i5s, 2 i7s with one locked and one unlocked model in each of those categories. The i3s are quad core without hyperthreading, the i5s are 6 core also without hyperthreading, and the i7s are 6 core with hyperthreading, so 12 threads altogether. A leaked review has already surfaced on the 8700K showing a single core performance on par with KB Lake and multi-thread performance up to 46% better. Obviously these numbers should be taken with a grain of salt. But let's hope that Coffee Lake has something great to offer since it's coming so soon after the launch of KB Lake. And iOS 11 launched last week, but after updating, some users are reporting significant battery drain on their phones. Mobile security firm Wandera? Wandera? Wandera monitored a subset of 50,000 moderate to heavy iPhone and iPad users on its networks and found that devices running iOS 11 depleted their batteries 60% faster than those running iOS 10 iOS device users have always reported slowdowns after updating to a new version, but this is possibly the biggest real-world effect we've ever seen. There's good news, however. Experts say there's an easy fix. Switch to Android. Oh, no you didn't! <laughs> Call the burn unit, we've got some victims coming in! Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, y'all know what time it is! Beep, 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 beep. Lightning round! AMD has followed NVIDIA in dropping mainstream game support for 3 and 4 way multi GPU configurations, seemingly signaling the end of 4 GPU unrealistically balls to the wall gaming system era. That's the official name. After complaining that Fortnite copied their Battle Royale game mode, the developers of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds have clarified their comments. They're wary of Fortnite's developer Epic Games could find ways to hurt PUBG's business since PUBG is built on Epic Games' Unreal Engine. But PUBG just hit 1.5 million concurrent players, so they should be fine. Plus it's really fun. China has blocked WhatsApp from operating in the country right after it was confirmed that Chinese messaging app WeChat provides its user personal data to the Chinese government. Time to use Line or something, I guess. Something other than those. Apple has dropped Bing as the search engine used in Siri and Spotlight queries, switching to Google instead. It's about time, although Bing will still be used for image search, because otherwise Bing's feelings would have been very hurt. Bing is sensitive. 
Speaking of Bing, Microsoft is getting into quantum computing in a big way, announcing plans to release a quantum computing programming language along with a quantum computing simulator to develop and debug quantum programs using quantum algorithms. That's a lot of quantums. Word on the street is that the more you say quantum, the smarter you get. So I'm trying out that method. Quantum, quantum, quantum. <laughs> Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the N6 forum post linked down in the description. And if you don't know that they're there by now, then... Can't help you. No. <laughs> Happy birthday, Toby! Well, this coming Wednesday, the 27th, you're turning 20! And you've been watching the show every day. Wow. 20. I remember when I was 20. Brand new Nexus. Hey, I heard you had. I heard you needed like an unboxing consultant, so I came to uh, open the box for you. And that's great. You already have it open. Yeah. If you would like to send us something special to say, hashtag NCXYoDog on Twitter. You know the drill. It's announcement time! Yay! I've been a part of this channel officially since the summer of 2013, and after four years, it's time to. Part ways. This will be my last episode here on NSAX Tech Tips and from the bottom of my heart, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has watched me grow somewhat over the years and become this host that I am today. And I can't forget about everyone who has ever left a comment, good or bad. I know that you guys love to get shouted out as well. I know that this is the internet and that changes happen all the time and that we all hate change. But thank you for letting me be a part of your daily routine and putting up with my stupid intros. Now, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram. Obviously, I'm going to plug those handles. I'll most likely go on a hiatus from social media for a bit, but I might post something from time to time. Now, if you excuse me, it's time for the outro. No, Jack. Uh, Don't. <laughs> this is extremely awkward because Keys isn't a hugger. I know. This so that, that, was, that was a very special, yeah, special occasion. moment for me, and I'm I'm really glad the entire internet got to see it. <laughs> oh yeah, the outro. <laughs> All right, that's it for Netlink. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter right over there. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment down below for fans with benefits and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. See you guys later. This isn't goodbye, but more like so long. Mm. That's all I got.